Hi everyone, it's Kelly Van Washen over here from Educational Technology Services. This week I'm doing an ETS low tech tip and I'm going to show you how you can make a video that demos to students how you're going to be using your course in Nopal, Google Drive, and to go over your syllabus with them a bit. So to get started, I've set up this little mini slideshow and it just shows you what this demo is about. So recording a video where you're going to go over your syllabus, tell them your course setup. Why would students need this? Well, we are in a pandemic right now and sometimes they might not be able to make it to class or some students might be tuning in remote. So you might not get that opportunity to spend day one or two of class going over syllabus and how you're going to use your course. So you could do a video on it in advance and share that with them so they have that as a reference and those tuning in asynchronously would still be able to see that. And how is this being recorded? I know it looks a little different than my other tech tips. Since it is a low tech tip, I decided to go low tech. I'm actually using a tool called Loom that is pretty user friendly and I'm shooting this in one continuous shot. That means I'm not stopping using multiple cameras or doing any fancy editing. My plan is if I stumble and need to restart or if I switch screens, I'm actually going to use Loom's editor to just cut those parts out when I'm done. And so this is being done low tech style and my plan is for it to take maybe about 10 minutes to fully do this video. So very feasible. Um, demoing and doing it in the same way. All right, so let's go. All right, so we're in Nopal now, and what you didn't see there is I used Loom's editor to cut the part where I left the slideshow, opened up the Nopal tab, and then I stumbled in my first take. So I cut that all out already. But if I'm showing students around the course, where I'm going to start is in this bulletin tab because this is where they end up when they click on their course in Nopal. Now, personally, the first place I'm going to show them, if it's my course, is this About tab. But in order to show my students around, I think it's really important for you to go over to this More tab and choose View As, and it's going to pop up as a generic student. You never want to share the screen of your Nopal course or record the screen of your Nopal course for your students using a uh, professor view because if you use the professor view then you might show some sensitive information about other students that you definitely don't want to share. Okay so I'm going to start over in that about tab after I turn on the view as a generic student and in this about tab I have this about section where I've written out this course will be fully remote so students understand that. I would suggest putting more details if it is fully remote and if you're meeting in person to also elaborate there. Um, that's actually a suggestion coming from the provost office, and I have a different demo video that goes over how you can do that, but it's really simple. It's just an edit button when you're in the professor view. So as I said, I would begin here, and I can start by clicking on this course syllabus. I put it as a link. You might upload a file instead, but I can go ahead and walk, and walk them through the syllabus here, or I can wait and walk them through in the documents tab, which is another route you could go. So after I go over my course details here, I'm going to move on to the Documents tab and tell them this is where I have information about your course and all of the course materials set up. And to walk you through, I'm going to get started with this course info where I have the syllabus. And once I pull my syllabus up, then I can take this opportunity to go through all those course expectations and my normal syllabus run through, whatever that might be for you. And this might take a few minutes, 20 minutes, however long it takes for you to do that. Once I'm done, personally, I would go through how the Documents tab is set up. I can go over to the Bulletin, too, and I can talk a bit about how I expect them to use the course and how I'm going to use it. So I might say, I want you to post questions on the bulletin so I can address those for all of the students and that everyone can see the answers. I might also tell them, I'll post updates here, or I'll share out information about the course, or I'll just post videos that are about course material, and I'd like you to do the same. So whatever the expectation is for bulletin use, please outline that for them because everyone's doing something a little bit different. Something I would say is do not click on the roster tab 
Students will have the ability to see other students' email addresses in the roster tab, but if you're making a video, especially if you're sharing that video on YouTube as I plan to do, and you click on the roster tab, it's going to display those email addresses and those student names, which is something you probably don't want to upload to YouTube. So probably best to just not click on the roster tab for the demo, but you can mention it to them. Something else you might want to do is discuss your assignments tab and how you'll be adding assignments or the type of assignments they have. One thing you might do is make their first assignment a discussion board where they all post a little bit of information about themselves. So if that's their first assignment and it's ready when you do the walkthrough of your course, you can always click on assignments and walk through that first discussion board and explain to them what the expectation is. So this is just a great opportunity to do any of that. And the same with grades tab. If you're using it, you can click over there and explain to them how you're planning to use it. Going back over here to the bulletin, since that's where I start and that's where I'll wrap it up, but the main point of this video and the thing I hope you walk away with is, yeah, we're all using Nopal differently in classes and everyone does something slightly different. So just make sure you walk them through how you're using it, where they can find the information they need and how to click to get to everything. So I hope this is helpful for you and good luck getting started this semester. Please sign up for some of our sessions. We'll continue offering those until the semester begins. And please email servicedesk at denison.edu if you have any questions or need any additional support. Bye.